What's going on guys, Tmart here, and today I want to bring you guys a video to teach you how you can live stream and record video directly from your PlayStation 4's built-in capture card. So, uh, this is a pretty cool feature, like it actually works really well, and the quality is actually surprisingly good. So, uh, you know, I think it's a really cool tool for people that are being lazy and don't have their capture cards hooked up, or if you don't have a capture card yet, you can still start your YouTube or your live streaming career without having to invest a ton of money right at the start. So obviously, that's a good thing. So, uh, starting off with live streaming, if you want to live stream from your PlayStation 4, the first thing you want to do is hook up your account and get everything set up. So, when you're at the main menu, you want to press the share button button on your controller and then the options button on your controller go up to share settings it's going to load up for a second and then you're going to want to go to your broadcast settings so there we go it's going to load again and now you're going to want to hook up your streaming account so you can stream from either Ustream or on Twitch if you're smart you're going to do it on Twitch because that's the best gaming streaming platform so you're going to go to the Twitch website and then you can either create an account or you can log in to your existing account if you already have one so once you've logged in or created your account the next thing you're going to want to do is oops I backed out too far you're going to want to go back to broadcast settings and you're going to want to select your streaming quality so there are four options there's best there's high there's medium and there's low and what you should choose is based off of your internet upload Upload speed. So if you have a pretty good upload speed, like I think I've got five megs, uh, you know that allows me to stream on best. You know that's more than enough to stream on best. If you got something lower, like around one, you know I mean, you might want to try higher medium. I'm not sure. You know, test it out. Obviously, only you are gonna know what's best for your stream. So I uh, just test it out, see what works best, and then after you've got that figured out, you're gonna want to go into game, and we'll pick it up from there. All right, guys. So we're in a game now, and if you want to start live streaming, all you have to do is hit the share button. And then you go over to Broadcast Gameplay. It's going to ask you if you want to stream on Twitch or on Ustream. Of course we want to do it on Twitch, so we'll click Twitch. You've got three options. If you want to include your video from the PlayStation camera in the broadcast, you can. Basically, that's like a live face cam type thing, so we'll go ahead and do that. You can also include the microphone audio in the broadcast. So that's the built-in mic to the face cam, so if you want to be able to talk to your viewers. And then finally, if you want to display the comments on screen, which shows the chat on the bottom part of the screen, you can check that box. We'll leave that all checked. For your channel name, I believe this is the name of the live stream. So you can say, like, um, let's name it uh, T. Martin Plays Ghosts. Plays Ghosts. Okay, so that's done. And start broadcasting. Boom! There we are. The broadcast has been started. Stop the broadcasting. Press the share button, then select stop broadcasting. So as you can see, we are live now. You can actually see the chat down in the bottom part of the screen. You can see your face up in the top right. You can see how many viewers there are and how many comments there are. So it's uh, it's going to take a minute to update, but I've got Twitch open over here on my other browser and, and people can see me playing and there's lots of comments and everything. So uh, it'll update after a little bit, but then you can just go into playing. One thing I, you know, you should take into consideration is um, is you can't play full screen. Like what you're seeing on your screen in this video is what I'm seeing as well. So I'm seeing the black bars on the bottom of the right part of the screen. So it's not ideal if you have a smaller TV or something like that. Then then obviously uh, you aren't going to be able to play full screen. It might be harder to see. But if you want to live stream, that's just something that uh, that you have to put up with. Now. If you want to um, record a video and actually post it, you know, record a, a pre-recorded video, we'll show you how to do that in this video as well. So if we get in a game here, we'll just try to get a couple of kills, and then I can show you guys how you can uh, upload a video clip and share it to Facebook. Unfortunately, Facebook's the only thing you can share that to. You can't upload it directly to YouTube or anything like that, but we'll see how this goes. Now, I will say... <laughs> that it looks like the chat down in the bottom part of the screen is much more delayed than the chat on the internet. So if you have like a, a tablet or a computer or anything you can have next to you, because this isn't really updating on my screen, but on Twitch people are going nuts. So I don't know. How you fix that? Let's mute people. And then also my face is a little bit uh, zoomed in on. So if anybody knows how to fix that, um, let me know because I'm I'm not a, not sure of that. Because uh, I'm sitting pretty far back from the monitor right now just to be in, in focus, in frame. Oh, there we go. Twitch chat's loading up a little bit more.
All right, looks like the enemies are back in this back right building back here. We'll go take somebody out, and then I'll show you guys. Oh. All right, so we got to kill and we died. So if you guys want to um, want to upload that clip so you can uh, get it on Facebook and then take it down from Facebook and put it to YouTube, all you have to do is hit the share button again. And, and you actually have to stop broadcasting. So unfortunately, see you later, stream. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Uh, but stop broadcasting. The broadcast will be stopped. Okay. And then um, you're going to have to hit the share button again. You go to upload video clip. And then it's going to wait a second. It's going to bring up all the video clips that it's recorded recently. As you guys know, the last 15 minutes of gameplay is constantly being recorded for you on the PlayStation 4. So it's going to be the most recent thing. So we're going to select this one. And it's going to ask you to sign into Facebook. So like I said, Facebook is the only place you can share it. So we're going to sign in and I'll catch up with you guys after we do that. All right, guys. So after we sign in, you have to accept kind of like the terms of service. It's telling you that you're allowing Sony or PSN to, uh, to post statuses on your behalf. You know, videos, photos, uh, app events like earning trophies and things like that. And it's all going to be visible on Facebook. It does say you can change this feature by going to settings, PSN, link with other services, and Facebook. So maybe we can check that out towards the end of this video. But yeah, basically you're saying it's allowing this thing to make all this stuff public. So if you don't want a bunch of gaming crap on your personal Facebook, maybe you might want to create like a backup secondary Facebook that doesn't have any friends or anything. And, and you can just, you know, upload content there and you don't have to worry about, you know, your mom seeing you <laughs> play Call of Duty or something. I, I'm not sure what's going on. So select the information you'd like to import to PSN. Uh, I signed in to like a secondary Facebook here, so I don't want to import anything. But you can import your first, last name, and profile picture if you want that to be a part of your account. Now next up... Uh, we've got Facebook publishing settings. So you can publish game event stories. You can turn that on or off. Uh, publish trophy stories on or off. Who can see my posts on Facebook's uh, only me? So I guess you can make it so that only you can see it. If you still want to upload it to your personal Facebook. But, but hey, I'd rather you know just create a second one uh, just for the, uh, the PSN sharing feature. And, and now we're finally into the share setting of this thing. So this is actually pretty cool. It's a really, really good system. So if you check it out, we're going to go up to edit. So you can publish the entire clip there. We have to suspend Call of Duty Ghost, but you can publish the entire recorded clip, like the last 15 minutes if you want. Or if you want to, you can trim it. So you can trim it in three simple steps. Set the start point, set the end point, and select trim. So uh, let's go in here. We'll set it at 10 second intervals and then you can see you can move right and left with the D-pad and we can go through and we'll find the part right before we get the kill. So maybe right here or no, let's let's get more exact here. Let's go down to five second intervals. So we can get in really close to whenever the kill was, uh, which is just right about here. So we're going to start here by pressing L2 and then oh, we want to get even closer. So let's go up to one second intervals. Let it load up the preview here. That's the kill cam. Let's just get to the part we got the kill. Boom. Okay. So if we want to preview it, I think this is going to be good. If we want to preview it. Yep. That's where we got the kill. Okay. That's going to go in my montage. So now we're going to press trim. It's all trimmed. You can change the name of the post that you want to make. All right. So we got our montage clip. We can add a comment. Uh, Facebook audience, only me. And now we can go down to share. We're going to press share. And it automatically starts uploading. We're still in the game. If you go up and check your downloads, I mean your uploads, I'm sorry. It's not there. Oh, is it maybe done already? Yeah, it's probably done since it was such a... Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Uh, so it's uploaded. It's already done. It's already on Facebook. And then we'll head over to Facebook right here. And as you can see, this thing is available on Facebook. Now, if you want to be able to get this video file so you can edit it and upload it to YouTube and that kind of thing, there are a bunch of different options. You can use a screen capturing software and just capture the screen as you play the video. You can also use Facebook downloading uh, you know, apps or programs like fbdown.net is a free one where you just paste the link in and, and then it automatically downloads it for you as like an MPEG file or something like that. If you're going to go that direction, you do have to post it publicly because it has to be able to get to that link. Uh, in order to download it. So just keep that in mind. And, and yeah, this is the video that I downloaded using fbdown.net. And, and as you can see, it's not the best quality in the world, but it's not bad either. So if you're somebody that's looking to start your YouTube and, and you don't really want to invest a ton of money in it, then you can buy the PS4 and it's got a built-in capture card 
and you know it's not going to be the best thing in the world and eventually you're going to want to upgrade but if you're wanting to try it out and kind of see if you want to continue with YouTube uh, then this is a pretty good option for, for people like that so uh, yeah that is how you stream and record video on the PlayStation 4 if you guys have any questions feel free to leave comments down below I'll be happy to answer them if this helped you out Please leave a like and a favorite and a comment and all that stuff. I really appreciate the support. I'd love to share this with more people. And it took quite a bit of work to, uh, to get this all figured out. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Got a bunch of great PS4 videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.